hello hello friends <laughs> can you see this I'm so embarrassed myself okay so I'm kind of calling myself out but also trying to hold myself accountable with this video these are all the indie books that I really do want to prioritize for next year because they've either been sent to me or um, I picked them up I might have bought them myself from authors that I'm very interested to start reading from and who I've never read from before. There is another video coming of books that I want to and series I want to continue for next year. That will be coming shortly. And that will be a mix of traditional and indie published. Um, so if you see some books on here and you think you started a series and you've not finished that, like, or where are your favourite authors? The reason for that is because I've started their series and I've not continued them. This is authors that I've never read from before and the series that the books that I want to like they are on my priority list. I do have a new journal from Little Lincoln Designs and I will be writing these in there and making these a priority for next year. And they've all caught my eyes for various reasons um, and I'm not going to go through the synopsis for all of these because we would be here forever so I'm just going to quickly go through what these are. <laughs> First up we have The Oath of Bones by Ryan G. Beater. Um, this was on a recent haul, this was kindly gifted to me by the author. I really am intrigued about this and it's not that big and the cover is just stunning. The tagline at the top is, when a religion arms its missionaries then it is not a church, it's a cult. Is it a church? Is it a cult? We shall find out when we read the book, Lisa. Next up, I'm really embarrassed to say that I haven't read this yet. But also, if I do really enjoy this, I will be purchasing a new copy of this because the author kindly sent me these, but this arrived damaged, which is really bugging me, and I hate it when postmen don't take care of packages that they're delivering. This is A Traitors We Are by Marco Roberto. I was also sent the, the novella for this series, and... I'm really excited to get to this. There's no tagline on the back, but the synopsis is really long, so I'm not going to read it to you. But once again, it's just going to be a high fantasy, full of fun, and probably battles and stabby stabby. So, so the next one we've got is a floppy one. This is a hero interviews by A. Ewington, and this was sent to me kindly by the author. This is a different format for me, and I'm really excited to get to it. But um, me and Charles were both sent this. I'm going to speak to Charles and see if she wants to read this together. Um, but it literally is like interviews and again it's a different type of prose I'm used to. I'm really excited. It says here was you can't swim your cat without hitting one. You can't even hatch a nefarious plan without some adventuring party invading your dungeon to thwart you. So it stands to reason there is a force for good right? Well yes and no. So I need to get to this. Editing Lisa here. So in the background of this picture you will see Renia by Carl Forshaw. That was hidden behind some Christmas decorations, so you can add that to the list as well. <laughs> so many. Okay, carry on. Another one that was said to be by the author is The Tome of Harren by Damien Francis. And another floppy one, another big one. It says, The Tome of Harren, a powerful book made from magic with vast stores of knowledge that could shift the balance of war brewing at the end of Narian's borders. And one young man will become the keeper for all to survive. I need to read this. Next up we have The Price of Power by Michael McKell. This is a Spiffbo entrant for Spiffbo 9. Book 2 is being created at the moment it's being created what a way to say being written at the moment book two so i need to get my hands i need to, I need to get this read as soon as possible the next one is the umbrella storm by alex hudson this was fifth but eight entrant i've had this since fifth but eight i've not read it alex hudson has read has written a couple of books and Again, I've heard nothing but great things about this. I picked this up, one, because it was a Spiff Boy 8 entry, and then Spiff Boy 8 last year went out the window for me. But also, when I read the synopsis on this, I was just... I really wanted to read it. So the tagline at the top said, A thousand years ago, the heart of the world was shattered, its fragments scattered across the lands. That is, like, the, the big tagline at the top. And 
the cover was also a reason why I bought it. Another book that I've heard nothing but great things about is John Palladino's Charles Bashmount. Like, for one, the cover. Buzzard's Ball is already out. Book 2 is already out. What is wrong with me? I bought this and I was like, yeah, let's go. And I just haven't picked it up. This one is about 550 pages. It's a bit longer. And the top line says, Kidane, or C Dane, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, Kidane is destined to collapse. Across the world, rife with blood, betrayal, and brutality, five people wade through unexpected tragedies. This is going to break my heart. This is grimdark, and I will hurt so much, but I want to read it. So, John Paladino, I'm telling you now, I'm prioritizing it next year. Next up, A Thieves and Shadow by BSH Garcia. I won this. Um, and. She put a little note in it. And book two, cover reveal has just happened. This was also the fifth or nine entrant. And I don't know why I haven't picked it up. Again, probably because it's a physical read. But this is only 500 pages. For me, I can do this. Like, I'm saying only for me. I know 500 pages might be a lot for some people. But I can, I can, I can read these books. I don't know what's wrong with me. And... I get distracted a lot. I think my issue is I get distracted a lot. And I get distracted by like quick reads that I can just read in one. Like this year I read like 180 books. Bear in mind about 50 of those are manga. Because I did like 30 manga in 30 days in September. But more than 50 actually, I'm not going to lie. And a lot of those were also rereads on audio. But I think when I have to sit down and physically read books... It is more intimidating and I'm putting off really great sounding books because I have to physically read them and I really need to stop because I'm doing myself a disservice, I'm doing the author a disservice and also you guys a disservice because you don't get to hear me rave about them and find new favourites to annoy you about. Next up we have Hooked by Emily McIntyre. This is a bit different. This is um, a fantasy romance and I think it's an adult fantasy romance and I think it's quite smutty. And it's like a smutty fairy tale retelling. This was gifted to me for my birthday. Where is the note? I can't find it. It was Becca. Was it Becca? Why do I feel like it was Becca? I can't remember. Um, but I really want to read this. So I'm gonna put it on the list because it's part of a series. And if I like this, I will be getting the rest of the series. Next up, we have another book that was gifted to me by the lovely Charles from No Secret Bookaholic. Um, this is Maleficent 7 by Cameron Johnston. It's my vibe, guys. It's my vibe. It's what I want to read. Why am I not reading it? Tell me why. Tell me why I'm not reading the grey books. I don't know why. And this is even, this is like less than 400 pages, no, 400 pages. One town, seven bloodthirsty monsters, their last hope. Lisa, what is wrong with you? Many things, but we're not going to unpick that in this video. Next up, we have Platinum Tint and Darkness by Timothy Wolf. This was kindly gifted to me by the author. He gives me a paperback and the hardback is up there. Um, he gave me, he ended up sending me two paperbacks. I still need to do a giveaway for the second paperback. It sounds great. Covers great, sounds great. The kingdom of Bullum has been lost. The realms have already seen what happens when gods and their harbages have are left unchecked. Destruction, chaos, death. Is it gonna break my heart? Yes. I like to torch myself with my books, which is also why I like then reading things like Quemby Olsen and Stephanie Burgess that just give me all the cozy, comfy feels. So Daughter of the Beast by EC Greaves, this is a spiffball finalist. This has had rare reviews and me and my slow ass are just not reading these books i'm so excited i'm so excited for this the author kind of gifted me this as well and it's a matte cover and it's a stunning cover like what is going on it looks kind of scary like what is that beast why is it looking at me and with blood dripping off it what the fuck fear not the beasts in your stories for anything can be slain with a stout blade and a stouter heart I don't know if I have a stout heart or a stout blade, but that thing fucking scares me. And I'm excited to read it. <laughs> I am excited to read it, but also scared. Um, the next one, I am so sorry that I have not picked this up. Um, I bought this. When did I buy this? Was it last year? 
I think I don't know if I'm looking inside the book because that don't tell me. But um it's a drown kingdom by Peel Stewart. This is the first of the series. I think book two is also already out. Um and I'm sorry that I've not picked this up because again, all of these I've heard amazing things about and me being the basic aspect that I am just haven't picked this up. I even got the audio. I even got the audio and I'm still dragging my feet like a pleb. So this is going on the list. Sorry, I just love a flop. I love a floppy book. Next up we have Seeds of War by Joao Silva. I'm really sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I really should have learned how to pronounce it before um before I did this video. But I bought this. It was a Spiff Bo9 entrant, I think. His novella has also been entered into Sphinx, Ruins of Smoke. The back tagline, he ran like the monster he was and the smoke followed. Is there smoke magic in this? Oh, the smoke magic. Is it smoke magic? One breath, one jump, one death. The smokesmiths, book one, yeah, this be smoke magic. I need to read this. I have an issue. The brain is not functioning. Anyway, these are just the physical copies that I need to read. There is a list of Kindle indie books that I need to read next year. I might just put them on a separate video or I might just do a video. Yeah, I might just do a video like all the Kindle books I need to read and separate it into categories. And there's a, there's a massive indeception, not going to lie. And I'm also going to be doing a video of all my unread physical books coming soon to a screen near you once I wake myself up to do that. And the next one is A Hunter's Lament by Steve Panette. I need to read this. The author kindly sent it to me before it was out. And it's only small. The writing is small, but the book is only small. And it's about a bounty hunter called Bittersweet. I, and you all know I'm going to say the same thing. I need to read this. But it is only like 270 odd pages. What are you doing, Lisa? The next one is Bones to the Wind by Tiana Obey. I think this is now on book three. Once again, Lisa, you've got issues. I just also love the cover of this. They're all such pretty covers. Um, I'm going to leave that, that, that stack there so that I can write everything down. But this is also going to be on my priority list. So that if I really enjoy this, I do have the capacity to pick up the other books. And I don't need to wait because I'm sure book three is, is Sister Samurai. I think that's book three in this. I thought that was the last one. It's not. The other one I need to read is Death Disciples by Emma O. Adams. This is a Spiff Bo 9 semi-finalist. And I've heard amazing things about it. I got this ages ago before she even entered herself into Spiff Bo. I've been told it's right up my street. I have an issue. I really do have a problem. The books I'm going to be prioritising for next year. I'm going to have to make a list. We love a good list. Will we stick to the list? Yes, Lisa, you'll stick to the list. That's it from me. Thank you for joining me. If you like me and you want to see more of me, please like, comment, subscribe to all the good stuff. And if you're here and you don't let me know you're here, but you don't have anything to say, leave a black hat. That's very much appreciated. And until next time, Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, whatever you want to celebrate during this period, if you're just enjoying the happy merry vibes then just enjoy the happy merry vibes i will see you all in my next video